Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 33 of We Happy Few. So we're still standing in front of the bridge to the parade district which we couldn't access. So now we have to visit Dr. Faraday. And I wonder, I would just love to just get into a jubilator and <laughs> drive through the city. That would be fun. And I guess people wouldn't suspect us that much then either. So the problem is as soon as they will see us, they will hate us immediately. They won't even be suspicious. They will straight up hate us. Yep. As I said. So I think I'm just gonna run for it. Leave me alone. Okay, so I get that this is probably not the... Uh, way it is meant to be played to I don't know make chaos along among all the, the city but I have no clue how else I should be able to do it because how we can't even make I mean maybe Careful. you know how there's all that joy gas in there it's going to make you throw up <laughs> oh you better wear a gas mask do I even have a gas mask? Okay, I'm just gonna run one more circle. Although, I can still access that. Also, I'm still in my maid's outfit. How am I... Okay, well, I get how I could probably be weird, but... I didn't even insult anyone. <laughs> I'm still wearing a dress. Is there no room for self displaying in this damn city well also I have a I don't have a gas mask so do I have to can I take one of theirs if I kill one of them you don't need to tell me that every time So, one's down. So, I guess Let I... This be a lesson to you then. Really, as soon as I kill them, all of them drop their gas masks? Property is theft. Oh well. I'm gonna take all their bobby pins Don't though. Me, love. I'm just here to read the meter. Isn't it fun that the bobbies have bobby pins? Haha. <laughs> oh well. Um So the problem is although I don't know. Even if I vomit, whatever. Oh, okay, so it won't even open. Do you have a gas mask? For God, for Harry and St. George. Yeah, for whoever you want to do this, but I think I'm gonna need to take some joy. I hope I don't throw up. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry. Simon says, step on one lit platform. Take a flying fuck at the moon. Wait, I didn't say Simon says. There's no one here but us ravens. Oh, great. What's going to happen now? Ah! Am I going to die? You did it. Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy. Oh well, I guess he can. Simon says. Well, I guess it does make sense that we lose some fluids. Please don't start puking. Oh wait. There's one. Stop it. Ah. 
Stop puking, Ollie. Come on, you can do it. Really? I'm already at the memory loss? Yeah, I see. I see, so... Oh, great. It's not over. I didn't say Simon says. Now, Simon says... Step on three lit platforms. Back in your mouth, funny, you white sting! Really? They're even, they don't even give me any time. So please, just let me out. You did it. Here's some That's almost better than whiskey. Too much joy, can you? Well, whiskey makes you puke too, so... Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lift platforms. Acton and Max Snell, you bloody charlatan. I hate the skate very much. So, okay, we feel really bad. Um. Well, how do we get back here? Can we hack this? Yeah, we do. That's very nice. So I don't know if that was too useful or anything, but... Okay. <sighs> Although now I guess it doesn't even matter if we're on the memory loss app or if we're on joy withdrawal or not, because everyone hates us still the same, so... Okay, but I need to eat. But what am I going to eat? I'm going to eat some bread. And because I guess we lost a lot of fluids. So what else can I drink? Grapefruit juice. I should start looking for water pumps or something because I guess I should collect some water. Oh, but well, at least we're directly at Dr. Faraday's house. So let's hope that this whole puking episode was all worth it because we puked a lot ah nice what what are you doing here you sneaky Bastard, what are you doing here? He was creeping up on me. So, this what? Right there. Oh, what do you have there in your hands? This is a raid. They're being raided by the police. The Spitfire. Yeah, that that's what I wanted to take from you. They set up traps again? You know, I'm kind of confused. Because will this ultimately lead to the fact that Dr. Faraday isn't here? Because her guys aren't here either. So we never really got to look what's in those chests. So I kind of want to do that now. The tickler. Okay. Well, let's all take that. We don't have a problem with weight. As far as I know. So what's in here? Ah, oh, okay, whatever. But that's our dancing pole. Aww. So, is this... Oh, 
Oh well, we already read this letter, right? Oh well, we're still gonna take it. Yes. Everyone keeps wondering that. Oh, shut up. Okay. Yeah, I got it. What? Oh, he is here. Hey, there. God, we've been cooped up there forever. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. There's been an absence of absence, I'm afraid. James, you don't have to air our dirty laundry to every stranger that passes by. If you do the wash, we wouldn't have some... Anyway, this is Ollie Starkey. Who's he when he's at home? We serve together at Ramsgate. Oh, Ramsgate. Sorry to intrude. Jealousy doesn't look good on you, Roger. You wouldn't happen to ken the whereabouts of Dr. Faraday? Not actually sure. She was always talking about making a portal in the universe. It sounds ridiculous, but, 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 but Roger says, well, we're a little worried she succeeded. Don't tell anyone. If she has gone for good, we're out of work. I was sort of hoping... Well, she designed the motoline pipes under the city, didn't she? Oh, yes. That was one of the first things she did on her own. After Mr. Faraday went on holiday. You're not going down into those tunnels, are you? It's like tangled hair down there. You know, like what's in the shower drain because certain people don't clean it. I was hoping there might be uh, blueprints. There must be, but the place is such a mess and she blew it up. The bobbies won't even let us downstairs to water the plants. If Dr. F comes back and they're all dead, we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, that's too bad. Ollie, they want you to do it. Well then why didn't they... I could water them for you. Oh, would you? We could try and dig up your plans while you do. Once again, the heroes of Ramsgate save the nation. Oh well, so now we're going to water the plants. That's a terribly nice thing of us to do. Um, how do I do that? <laughs> There's some kind of... Do I have to rotate a wheel or something? Or will this blow up the whole house? Easy peasy, ah. squeezy. We'll make a gardener of you yet. Yeah, now we're standing in the rain. So, have you found my blueprints you yet? I think we found your blueprints. Brilliant. Give us a look then. The thing is, we need someone to pollinate the flowers down there. Pollinate? Is your bum out the window? You can't expect a soldier to know about flowers, James. Well, we can't go down there, can we? It's my bee cannon. It's her bee cannon? Well, she made it for me. I thought you were worried about pollinating the plants. All right, fine. Here's the bee cannon. You'll love it. It's got cannon in its name. What am I to do with that? Just find some bees, suck them up, go to the flowers, Spit him out. I'll do my best. So I guess this is our way to harvest honey bees. as well. There's no bloody bees in the village. Ah, oh, damn it! It's back to the garden district, isn't it? Okay. I got it, but. Before I go through all this nonsense of this whole um, bridge thing Simon says again. Where is the next shelter? It's here. I think I'm gonna access the, first, the shelter here on this island first. So, now we can harvest beans. 
Uh, not beans, bees. Yeah, yeah, chill. Not a wet blanket. First of all. Okay, I'm on the right way. Why are there so many bobbies on the street? Ow! What? The jubilator is mad. No! Oh. How long do you still want to think that you're the nice guys? Oh. So there should be a shelter here. No, I don't know where. I don't get it. Oh, okay, so it must be in some alley. Ah! Why are there so many bobbies here? Oh, no, it's here. Ah. Silly me! Okay. I'm glad that these people seem to be unable to climb ladders. Smells like someone cleaned every surface with mortaline. Good thing I didn't smoke anymore. Yeah. So, what's going on here? Memo from Dicky Bow Manager. Did we read this before? To all workers from Dicky Bow. I'm sure you all find this bullshitic banging on thrilling, but it's taking time away from your duties, requiring even more overtime to make quota. Scargill quality control, tell me your gas masks are quite sufficient. There is therefore no danger in using them for longer shifts. Kindly get back to work, unless your malingering reds want to experience doing any further banging on at home. I think that's a new one. Hmm, so what's in oh. Don't know if I would have needed that rotten potato. Um, so what's going on here? Hmm. So can we craft You're anything? Good at this. So what can I craft? I still can do all these grog because well, I'm as honey and I'm as antiseptic. That would be good though to have for the joy poisoning that we have. Well, I think we're good on weapons right now. Well, what is the help when you want someone to lie down but not forever? It's a branch and some cloth. Well, I'm definitely not going to um, sacrifice a sewing kit for that. A better mouse trap deals swift and shocking retribution to those foolish enough to approach it. Oh, so this is not really a trap for mice, but it is a trap for humans. It's an explosive trap for humans, I guess. Okay, but the reason why I came here was to do this. Good. Now we can come back here without all those disagreements. So, we're going to the garden district, so I guess we can wear our old stuff again. Also, it doesn't seem to matter. We also offend people by walking in the maid's dress. I'm definitely not going to start with the city. Because there's a lot more bees here. There's two close to each other. So let's get there. I don't know. Well, I guess, the, I guess the most important thing would be... Oh, I didn't collect those. The nighty night. Oh, well. So, I guess the second thing would maybe to do some of this Ollie's Grog, because in case we ever have to take Joy again. I guess people won't be too happy if we... Or people won't be too unsuspicious of us if we just start puking in the middle of the street. So... Hello there, bees. How am I going to do this? Is this something that I need to equip or something? Okay, so is this a weapon? I guess. Okay, so I need to equip this. 
Ah, now I do. <laughs> they're the only ones around here clever enough to plan for winter, and now they're pretty much fucked. Your father nature. Mm, there we go. Almost as sweet as you, Margaret. You're a real charmer, aren't you? You're a tough crowd, Meg. You know that. All right. Now you can make one of those sugar hypodermics. That is true. So, I suppose that we have to let the first crowd go to take in the second. So, where is this tree? Oh, it's still... Okay. Ah, it's it's the it's this one where we where we drop down. I like it. The beans are. The, I keep saying beans. It's bees. So I'm just gonna do something real mean here. But they have been really mean to me too. Okay, very well. So, I think the first thing that I'm going to do is to craft some of those syringes. I can do them right away, right? Yes. Okay. Very good. Now, don't forget to use it if you start feeling weak. But don't overdo it. It can really hurt you if you take too much. Yes. Thank you, Meg. We can go back to Dr. Faraday now. And I think we're going to have a lot of trouble getting there because now there's also people out in the street and they don't like us either. Was that a Gangster's Paradise reference? Oh wait, there was something to... No, there was some, nothing interesting in there. So, let's get ready for trouble! Oh, hey there, sir. Huh. There's. This is an empty street. Oh, no, it's not curfew. There's just no one out. Oh, there they are. This is not the right approach to be angry at someone who doesn't want your help. Also, I guess they more need Ollie's help than he needs theirs. Although, I, actually not. I guess no one would have asked for Ollie's help either. If Ollie's help is, you know, um... Bringing up all those plans and all this that he knows. So, they didn't see me, right? Now what? Eat some bees! <laughs> didn't you think that was funny? Crickets. Bloody crickets. Maybe they found your blueprints by now. <laughs> oh yeah, the one policeman just is getting caught up. Okay. Well, look at that. There's a tunnel, but it's um, it's a bit dark. It's under the Uncle Jack fan club. They don't like you very much. Why? We have a sort of disagreement about whether Uncle Jack's a very fine, funny fellow or a rotten, murdering, collaborationist traitor. So that's why you smash all the televisions. Roger, manners. Have you got an escape plan for after you talk to the executive committee? Why would I need an escape plan? 
I'm just going to tell the executive committee what's going on in the village. They're not going to shoot the messenger, are they? Then I'll just go back to my... Home in the train station. How would I escape, anyway? Oh, I know. The parade float. It'd be ridiculous, Roger. What are you talking about? The Uncle Jack fan club. They bring a giant balloon to the Battle of Flowers Parade every year. It's enormous. It's supposed to be his head. Well, that could carry you away to... Well, wherever the winds take you. I suppose if I'm in the club anyway, I might as well grab the float. If nothing else, no one will have to look at Jack's head floating across the village on May Day. We will need quite a lot of helium to fill it. Oh, I'll jump off that bridge when I get to it. Look, empty hydrogen tanks. What am I going to do with empty ones? The label, DSIR, the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. Well, you know, in all quite labs. In the parade? You think we can get the deposit back? They must have full ones there. Oh, what did I ever do to deserve you, Margaret? All oh, right, I've got a map of the tunnel into the parade. Seems like I need to get in through the Jacobean Club. God, I hate Uncle Jack. You're such a smart girl, Margaret. You will take your joy So, we need to find a way into the club. Problem is, everyone hates us, so I guess... Uh, and everyone immediately sees us, so I guess it's not an option to sneak in. Um, so where is this club anyway? It's here. The Jack O'Bean Club. Okay, so I don't know if this is would be the Jacobian club, if it's rightly pronounced, or maybe just um, maybe Ollie calls them the Jacobian club. So maybe that's why I'm always calling it Bees Beans. Now it's right if I say beans. So ah, there's a parade. Well, then we're going back to Maiden Home. There's not a memory here anymore either. So, I'm gonna go through here and I'm just gonna run very fast. So the spankers won't hit me. Careful, you know how there's all that joy gas in there. It's going to make you throw up. You better wear a gas mask. You know what joy does to you. Don't worry, my daughter. I'll be okay. So, I'm a little bit low on blood sugar. I think I'm gonna eat a few blue currants to get on the plus side again. So, okay, so it's not that far away, but still far away enough to make a commotion. Jeez, lady, don't be so melodramatic. Lovely day for it. I saw a spanker spanker downer just now. It was so jolly. Oh, wow. Creepy. Wait. They're accepting me because I wear the dress again. What's happening here? They hated me before. Was it just because I was running? Because I thought they would hate me anyway. Okay, so I guess I need to apologize. You are accepting of men, bearded men wearing dresses. So, where are we? Is this it? Oh, there's something to pick. The Uncle Jack Fan Club. I suppose they can't remember what he did during the war. What did he do? Voice of the Occupational Authority on the radio, wasn't he? Okay. No admittance. Oliver Starkey, Eric Blair, Harry Plantagenet, Clive Breathless. Oh! Due to the incident in the Rose Garden. Oh, he... 
they don't like life here either. Okay, so apparently... Then who are you? I think you can go in now. Why did I just talk through a wall? <laughs> I'm confused. Hello? Oh well, but... No, I'm not gonna... No, I'm not gonna steal your moldy bread. But the fresh... But the fresh bread. Also, I think I'm going to take a syringe. To that with our world view. However much we might wish to cling to it. Yes, yes, okay, so we need to get to the attic. Tell us, tell us. I have discovered that Uncle Jack's hat is not red. It is blue. Symposium is Uncle Jack's hat really red? Conducted a careful analysis on my TV screen. And I suppose television sets have color now. Though we see Uncle Jack in black and white, his hat is undoubtedly the same color as his eyes. And since he obviously cannot have red eyes, we have known his hat was red ever since episode 209, Irish potato recipe. Uncle Jack tips his hat and winks and says, I especially like red hair. Oh no. What are you doing in my house? Didn't see me, didn't see me. Out wherever you are. She'll come out, come out wherever you are. I don't... Is she going upstairs? No, no one sees. Oh, there's someone here. Oh, there are many people here. Oh boy. So, how do we get to the attic? Great, it's over there. It's just door, I guess. The heart has its reasons, which reason doesn't know, I suppose. Wait, is this a cook that is nice? It wasn't a cook that was nice to us? Still, I well, don't is, I want to try that out now. <sighs> I think I might need something to throw. Oh, wait. Patience, she... Ollie. The hearth has its reasons, which reason doesn't know, I suppose. Oh no. I should Lock the door. <gasps> Suing kid, yes. Come out and take your medicine. <laughs> uh no thanks. So cool how they can't unlock their own doors in their own houses. I bet it's all up there. They don't need a cook. They need a maid. Where's the bloody parade balloon? I would be very well equipped for this, you know. I already wear the dress. Well, this is a very huge attic. It's a piano, but you can't play it. Is there someone you here in the attic? The Tsar and all his relations up here, and no one's the wiser. Oh, it's the prettiest boxes of all. Time to get the float out of here. Ollie! I said float. What did you think I said? We didn't come here for the float. We came here to get into the Motelin tunnels. True. You're right, Margaret. You're always right. So wait a second. Where do we... How do I get there? down here? Yes. How did you gang out of here? Jumping out the window. 
Oh wait, to find the secret passageway. I guess it's downstairs again. So I guess it must be easier to jump down the window and walk in the back door again. Because that symposium should still be going. <laughs> hey there! Yep. Nothing weird to see here. Indeed, I'm a proper citizen. So. Are you kidding me? That's it? There is the entrance? When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. You want me to go up the chimney? Like Santa Claus after he's eaten up all the biscuits? Didn't you read the plans? There's a secret passage and a hatch. Okay, so it is in the chimney. Can we still not open that door? No, we can't. So, um... I think I'm gonna throw a bottle. What's that? Did you hear that? Is someone there? Okay. You can't that just boy? wave a weapon about. Not me, I hope. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Think I need to change a weapon. So. Hmm. Well. You know, how did that Bobby get here? Ouch, pushed me. I didn't want to hurt you. Ouch. Okay, I think I'm gonna hide in my room. Oh damn it, I, I locked it. Hey, okay, I think I'm gonna heal up for a bit. Really, I don't have anything. That's that's great. I don't have any balm as well. <laughs> Some folks enjoy a little tickle from time to time. Inflicts no damage. Not very durable. Can cause stunning. Just inflicts no... Really? That's just useless. Okay, so I suppose I will need the Spitfire. Oh, I didn't equip it. I need it, so I should need to equip it. Ah, oh, wrong button. You can go to hell. Why do I have to cleaver again? Is it? It's broken too? Oh well. Oof. Well then I guess I'm going to go back to my... Lady, I'm sorry, but try to do this the nice way. Good as gone. Yeah, I found you too. Well, lad, this is what we trained for. I'm not going anywhere with you. What? Where are you coming from? I still like this bat a lot. In the end. So, but now I need to craft some more healing bombs.
Good thing I have so many rose petals. So this is another quest that I didn't complete in stealth. Oh wow, those healing bombs do very little. I think I should also pick more of those um, yellow ones. So, where is the fire extinguisher in here? Hmm. Do you remember, so have any of you seen Uncle Jack recently? In town, I mean, not on the telly. His broadcasts are terrific as ever, but he hasn't been round his, his usual haunts. I do hope he's not off his feed. If you've spotted him, do ease our mind and let us know. What about these? Our credo. I promise upon my honor to be faithful fan of Uncle Jack, to watch his show every day, and always remember to take my joy. Member quits. How well do you know Jack? What is the name of Uncle Jack's cooking show? What did Uncle Jack do during the war? What color is Uncle Jack's hat? Name an Uncle Jack bedtime story that takes place in Wellington Wells. Bonus, make an anagram from the words Uncle Jack Worthing. Dress code to sporty red hat must be worn at all times. Exceptions may be made for bathing and haircuts. Okay, well, I guess this question of what color is Uncle Jack's hat is a very, um... difficult one because as it seems even the members aren't so sure of it so I need a fire extinguisher where would I find this well at least now we have some more time to look around hey Margaret can you help me find a fire extinguisher I doubt that it's in the kitchen but where would it be? Wouldn't it be close to the fireside? What are you doing here? How's the family? Watch out for scurvy. Uncle Jack says. He's not doing anything bad, so Oh, now he gets suspicious. You won't get away with this. Oh, I already hit you once, I'm gonna hit you again. Go forth and sin no more. So where is this damn fire extinguisher? Lovely day for it. Father McCartney preaches such thoughtful sermons. I wish he was Anglican. Wednesday lunch and round table. Bring your own lunch. My favorite Uncle Jack story. Next Wednesday, what to give Uncle Jack for Christmas. Special meeting, Tuesday, 8 p.m. How to spot Oliver Starkey in disguise. Oh, well. Ooh, it's a memory. I guess they did spot me. They did a good job, but just wasn't enough and now it's time for famous rips how on earth did he get to be uncle jack everybody likes him except you have they forgotten what he did people are forgetting a lot of things now oh, i suppose they don't even know what he did to you but how did they forget who it was on the german radio every night during the occupation they locked him up after the victory People don't talk about the past anymore. When did they let him out? You've forgotten things too, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm sorry, Margaret. You were trying to tell me all along, weren't you? Oh. So. Okay. I don't see a hatch though. Oh, there's a tunnel. Nice, nice. I knew there ah. was a hatch here. I hope it really does go to the tunnel to Apple Home. Hope so too. Okay. Let's go. We haven't been in the parade in a while, have we, Margaret? I hope the executive committee listens. I hope they're willing to tell people the truth. Don't forget to get some hydrogen for your float, in case it doesn't go well in the broadcast tower. I hope you're wrong, Margaret. How the hell does all this work? Okay. Well, um, so what are the new weapons that I can craft? Give them a night of sleep whether they want it or not. 
the Nighty Knight. Slow but with ample reach, this weapon does major non-lethal damage on impact. So this first needs the winning argument and some linen. I guess I would be happy with the winning argument first, because at the moment, I don't know. The pipe down, inflicts burning damage, durable. Power cell metal bits, lead pipe and a metal tube. I guess I would be happy with the winning argument first. Maybe. Uh, that's what I'll do next, because I think our weapons are going to wear out soon. So, 40 points available. Wasn't there something that makes our weapons... Yeah, this one. Okay. So I'm gonna go with this one. Attack faster, move faster when blocking. Blocking and attacking cost... Oh, yes. I want that. Now we're done. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so maybe I'm gonna go with this too. Now, tinkling, I that's a thing I know. As I suppose that this will lead to... We will have to get some... No I don't know, helium for the balloon. Good place to camp out. Oh, how fitting that Ollie gets tired right now. So, I think we're going to take a break here. Ollie is going to take a nap. And tomorrow we will go and see the committee. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.